Very proud to be here standing on the first hybrid elected vessel in Washington State's ferry fleet. And the good news is it certainly won't be the last. Nearly two years after one of the ferry system's largest vessels was taken out of service, the new hybrid electric Wenatchee is expected to welcome back passengers on the Bainbridge route next week. Governor Bob Ferguson made the announcement this morning. The vessel is the largest hybrid electric ferry in the U.S. King 5 was the first to get access to the Wenatchee a month ago as it was undergoing test runs on Puget Sound. This conversion is part of a much larger mission to electrify the fleet. Producer Taylor Pomisel shows us how the vessel is making waves for Environment Northwest. It's one of the most iconic things outside of the Space Needle for this area. They represent uh, a destination. For years to come, people point to this and they'll be like, yeah, I got to work on the Wenatchee. The Wenatchee is making history in Puget Sound. The Washington State Ferry is now running on hybrid electric power. We are leading America in this revolution. Former Governor Jay Inslee drove the project for nearly a decade to cut down on pollution and noise. We have like three quarters of the emissions for state government comes from Washington State Ferries. We can take steps to reduce uh, carbon emissions uh, and reduce our fuel economy. The Wenatchee is that first major step. And we're talking about being, you know, kind of net zero by 2050. The Wenatchee used to be powered by four diesel engines. Over the past two years, two of those have been removed. Batteries, now the replacement power source at both ends. So this is our battery room. In, inside each of these uh, cabinets is a rack of batteries. The difference in noise on the Wenatchee is significant compared to its sister vessel. Are you ready? No, let's do it. Thank you. Right now, the Tacoma is still powered by four diesel engines. Like the Wenatchee, two will eventually be removed and replaced with batteries. We have four sources of power, two of which are online right now, and uh, we're going to replace two of the sources with, um, you know, a device that doesn't make noise and doesn't make smoke and does just as good a job. As the other ferries await their conversion, many are curious if the drop in decibels is worth the price tag. The Wenatchee's hybrid electric remodel cost $96 million, 36 million higher than expected. The conversion is much more challenging than constructing a boat from scratch and, and building it all as one system. And while the conversion of the ferries will have a big ripple effect in docking pollution and noise inside the boat, there's one problem this conversion still didn't solve. It won't do much to reduce noise for marine life below the surface. And now we're recording. Okay, Joel so Olson, the founder of Cetacean at, Communication, uh, specializes in underwater acoustics for marine life. From a ferry, you would hear knocking. It's a noise that particularly affects orcas. It makes their world smaller. It makes it harder for them to find their prey because their sound, the, the echolocation that comes out. It's actually coming from the vessel's propellers. So when we're having our new uh, hybrid class of vessels come out, we are looking at the propeller systems for those. Since that's a new vessel, we have a little bit more ability to design on those ones. Still, the Wenatchee symbolizes the ferry system's first ripple of progress to make a greener world. If we use a lot less diesel and we provide a more reliable and enjoyable ride, I think that's a success. It's going to mean a difference for, you know, the waters we call home here. The first step as the Washington State Ferry System follows in the wake of the Wenatchee. For Environment Northwest, I'm Taylor Pomisel. The Tacoma and Puyallup are the next vessels set for conversion. They're the same type of vessel as the Wenatchee. But Governor Bob Ferguson paused those projects until at least after the World Cup in 2026. The goal is to have as many vessels available as possible when one of the biggest events in the world comes here to the Emerald City. The cost to remodel the ferry and convert it to hybrid electric came in much higher than anticipated. The entire project was expected to cost $101 million. It ended up costing $133 million, that's $32 million over budget. As we mentioned, a majority of the cost was to take out engines and add in batteries. That cost $96 million. The state ferries tells King 5 the additional costs were for cosmetic changes like upgrades to technology, 
the propulsion system and seats. The biggest source of funding came from the Puget Sound construction account. That's money set aside for the Department of Transportation for things like improving the ferry system. To find out more about the conversion, you can text the word electric to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link.